Alright folks, we're putting car rods in the cars in the rods, um, but we're going to do something tomorrow that's kind of um, what I consider kind of one of the secrets of catching more fish. Uh, but all, all seriousness, we are going to do something that every angler, if you take fishing somewhat seriously, we're going to go scouting or going to brand new areas. Throughout the winter, that's a great time to do that as the fishing's generally slower. So I'm going to leave those tog and those weak fish that I've got somewhat dialed in. And the reason I'm going to do that is I want to learn a new environment or structure that I'm curious to see what the beach is like, what the surf is like. Uh, it's an artificial reef, so I want to see what the wrecks are like. Are they sanded over? Are they productive? And I want to add that to my repertoire. Um, I kind of mispronounced that. Um, I want to add that to my repertoire so I know you know, is it worth coming back to in the future, especially now that this is a slow time of fishing? So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to fish some brand new reefs I've never fished before. That's part of fishing. And that's one of the things that's important to not become complacent and keep your skills fresh and keep your intuitions fresh. Um, so scouting, let's see. Oh, morning, folks. Uh, we're going to take our kayak right out there right now. Seas are blue. Sky is blue. Uh, you like blue, it's time to be out there, so I'm gonna take a layer off cooking. Let's go get some tile and weak fish. Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So I'm gonna talk to you guys. We're gonna talk a little bit about products. So right here I'm stripping off some bad power pro. Oh well, that's what I'm calling it. It's not bad, but it's essentially power pro that's frayed off. I mean, all the coating on my my line is kind of worn it down, and I'm currently using Fanatic Braid, right? And that's the other reel back there. What I really like about that line is there's no coating on it. It doesn't wear down. Opposed to Power Pro, which wears down, and you gotta, you know, cut it out. I like fishing with a full spool of line, because it makes jigging a lot easier. So I don't like let my line really get down there too much. That's just my preference though. All right, so we're fishing another reef today. Fishing somewhere I actually haven't fished yet. Fish, fishing with my buddy Owen. It's on the paddle kayak out there. Got a real nice February day, unlike the other day. Uh, tog and uh, I guess weak fish are my two targets. You know, redfish too, sure. A little redfish action is always appreciated. Ooh, we got some beautiful water here. We got about uh, 30 minutes to get to the grounds. Should be there in no time. Spring's kind of quiet. There we go. Looks like something down there. Not too trashy. Oh, that was. Oh, hello there. Big head shake there. Red. That's got to be a red. Uh, not small. No red on that one. Oh, hello there, pumpkin. Pumpkin seed. Hey. Well, found us a pumpkin wintering over. How's that? Some zombie pumpkins. Yeah. All right. Let's get you out of here, Captain. It's an overslot for sure. Probably around 30 inches. Nice. 
beat up, man. Look at all those scars. Somebody try to bite him. Still, he was healthy. Pretty cool. I don't know if we'll get another one, but another line roll bearing shot on this Stratica. So. Honey hole right here. No, it's his cousin. Ice black drum. Good quality fish, man. it is a couple of nice winter fish man that's a good black drum oh, seven pounds somewhere around there slimy as hell and that's the culprit of what's really down there and mess all right let's drop one more crab and move on i think we got a uh, i pick this one over very possible. In case you didn't know, winter fishing is really tough. Uh, it's not an easy game at all. The weather's not good. The water's cold. The fish are finicky. A lot of things work against you, my friends. They definitely do. Oh boy. Get up here. Yo! Trying to get Owen's attention because Owen's not catching anything for a little bit here. I was trying to throw my man a bone out there. Let's see. Ooh, another red. Nice tog there. God, he got me on the structure. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Crack a drum. The drum season. Tug, but packing away at all sorts of stuff. All right, got something good there. Like another black drum, probably. It's the winter thing. Another drum, huh? Oh, red. Nice, man. Just hopped into my lap. Man. He's got some bruises. Red fish! Another red. 
head. He's got a scar on his head, man. These reds are warriors out here on the ocean. Really, they are. But they're, they are some badass critters, man. All right, it's cool. Picked, picked away. Oh, well, there it is. Uh, so I fished a totally brand new area today. I have not fished here yet. Um, as you might know or might not know, I am new to the state of North Carolina. So I am, I would say I'm kind of, I'm kind of scouting this winter, like just looking at other structures and all the reefs and just checking it all out. So that was my first time ever fishing this area. Fished a couple of wrecks. Uh, two were pretty productive. I guess the main strategy was, you know, some of these wrecks are ships, you know, concrete. A lot of them are built up in such a way they have a peak. And when you're fishing this sort of structure, you want to, I like, I like, excuse me, you don't want to. You, here's how I like it. I like to take a kayak, or if you have a boat with a trolling motor, start on the high piece, you know, drop the bait, drop your jig, whatever it's going to be, and try to work right in that cone of the, the snaggiest part of the piece. Like, you want to be, you know, on the snaggiest, off the snaggiest, and yeah, all those drum came to like the the nasty stuff today. There was nothing on the, the more forgiving structure. You know, the ocean fishing, it's getting repetitive, I know, but it's gonna be two things. It's gonna be jigging, or it's gonna be fishing with bait. I don't think there was anything to jig today. I should have dropped the underwater camera down, but I was kind of just preoccupied with fishing for the day, too. So that's how that went. That wasn't bad, man. Uh, five drum, and you know, one red was pretty nice uh, in February. Got 50 degree water, you know, learning, and and it helped me pick apart what structures I like best here when I do come back here in the future. However, everything I said does not, I don't hold that all that true to fluke or flounder. That's the one exception. Sometimes I like the softer structures for the flounder. Um, they're not always as wreck oriented um, in terms of like high pieces and fishing you know when you fish these structures you got to fish very concentrated areas sometimes everything else might just be loaded with crap fish you know and there's no shortage of crap fish in north carolina <laughs> the toad the toad and the lizard will get you so uh, yeah and everything else is the usual fish with the picture uh one set up somehow a pen ended up in my boat maybe i was taking notes <laughs> and uh yeah, that's what we're fishing with still. Same deal. All those interference fish is really the reason I don't fish shrimp. So that being said, we're gonna bring the kayak and the surf. We have no surf today. It's like a lake. It's definitely a fishery I don't know and I'm loving exploring and figuring it out my way. Sometimes a stubborn way, but uh, plenty of fish to be caught. Good quality stuff in February, huh? Who would have thought? If everything else you have in your mind fails, reds and black drum are pretty damn consistent. Gotta love a fishery that has something that's always available. You know, even in my, in my mind, I was set on those todd. Didn't happen, that's okay. <laughs>